Hi everybody, this is Rob Alvarado for Windows Phone Central. Today I'm going to be showing you the Xbox Live Hub. Uh, this is the home for all of your games. Xbox Live games and Marketplace games will both be listed here. As soon as you load it, your collection comes up. Uh, all the games are listed alphabetically. Xbox Live games will be listed first, because I guess they take priority here. Um, at the very bottom, your regular Marketplace games will be listed. In between the both, the Get More Games option is listed. That's uh, a shortcut to the Marketplace for games. Your games Marketplace will launch after clicking that. Um, Xbox Live Extras, of course, just came out just a little while ago. And the Gadgets, uh, those are just uh, things to edit your avatar. And the Gadgets themselves, it's things like flashlights and a ruler and a bobblehead. Just quirky little things that you can play with with your avatar. Not too exciting, so I'm not going to go into it right now. Uh, the spotlight is uh, news from uh, Xbox Live saying what new games are coming out, uh, what players are interesting, and if there's actually any hardware news too, like Kinect, which just came out, you can see you are the controller. Uh, that just came out, so that's going to be listed there as well. Even if it's not Windows Phone 7 related, it'll pop up. Scrolling over again, you have your avatar. If you click on them, uh, it's going to launch the Xbox Live Avatar Editor. Um, this might take a second. He'll slide in in just a moment. Um, here you can edit his size, girth, and what clothes he's wearing. There he is. Um, if you have any props unlocked in games too, like I know in Halo you can have a, a guilty spark floating around on you. If you, can, if you play Modern Warfare, you can have the uh, um, uh, spy plane that comes out and floats around. You can uh, choose a different avatar if you want to uh, reset them and make a new one. I'm just going to cancel out right now because I don't really have to edit them. Uh, if you click on your name, your gamer tag rather, it's going to launch up your uh, messages, it's going to launch your friends list. Um, from here you can actually, I'll slide in in a second too, where is he? There he is. Um, you can actually edit your profile too, and that's like your personal information, uh, where you're located, your common phrase, and things like that. Uh, if you hit, uh, oops, if you hit customize there, it's going to go back into the Xbox Live Extras avatar editor. Um, I don't see why they don't have this all in one spot, but hey, I guess they just could figure it out. A uh, little accessory I got there from playing Limbo. If you have any messages that come in, uh, people who send you a friend request, or just Xbox Live uh, messages, or MSN messages, or messengers, uh, they'll pop up over here. I currently don't have anything. If you scroll over, it goes to your achievements. This is going to show you what recent ones you'll have. Uh, what what games you've been playing recently are going to come up first. As you can see, I've been playing uh, OMG, our manic game. I'll probably have a review of that uh, later this week. Same for Elo Milo. Um, but your Xbox 360 games, Xbox Live arcade games, and uh, games for Windows Live will be listed here as well. So you can check and see which games, uh, game score, uh, excuse me, gamer achievements you've unlocked and which ones you've yet to get. So this recent one I've got, of course, I'm pretty happy about it, I guess. Uh, if you click on the actual game itself, it'll list which ones you've unlocked already, and grayed out in the bottom are going to be the ones you have yet to achieve. Um, I'll go back, and scrolling over again, it's going to launch your friends list. Uh, it's going to show you who's online, what they're doing, if they're watching a video, if they're playing a game, it'll all pop up up there. Uh, apparently nobody's online right now. Um, and I'll show you a pretty cool thing that I thought. I'll actually load Dan's profile. You can see his profile. You can see what he's been up to. You could click down here. You can send him a message. Uh, I'm not going to bother to right now because he won't ever read it. And you can scroll over. This is the cool part. You can compare your achievements um, depending on which games you've been playing. So Dan's been playing a little bit of OMG. I've been playing it a lot more. Um, Osmos I just got the other day because it was a deal. And uh, it, we can see, like, I've, I've gotten a couple more achievements than Dan and OMG. Uh, he probably just started recently playing it. I know he's got a lot more achievements than me in Need for Speed, so it's just a way of seeing what your friends are up to and what kind of catching up you have to do against them if you if you guys are actually competitively playing. Going back, can't even press the button there. Scrolling over again, it goes right to your messages. If you have anything in your inbox, everything will show up right there. I'm gonna go back to the Xbox Live Hub. Scrolling over again, these are your requests. If anybody uh, sends you a friend request, if they want to uh, see you listed in their friends list, that'll pop up here. You can add new friends. You can send for fr friend requests out um, in an update, hopefully later on, because I tried to do that today and I wasn't able to. Not through the Xbox Live Hub on my phone anyway. It's available on the web and through the console and games for Windows, but not on the phone. 
Um, if you have any pending invitations to play games, those will show up here too. Uh, and those are just not for Windows Phone 7. Excuse me. Um, those are also for uh, console and PC games, for games for Windows Live. Those will show up so you can see your friends are trying to get your attention. Scrolling over again, it goes right back to your collection. Uh, cool little tip. I think I mentioned it in the podcast that came out this past week. Uh, if you have a game that you're going to be playing a lot of, uh, just like anything else in your apps list, you can just hold it down. The pop-up menu comes up. You can rate and review it. So every uh, oops, I didn't want to uninstall. It. Excuse me. Um, you can rate and review it so other people know what you thought about the game and uh, how much you liked it. But you can also pin it to the start menu, and of course it'll pop up just like anything else in your applications. Uh, that about covers it for the Xbox Hub. If you have any questions, by all means, ask in our comments section. Uh, if you're in the forums, ask questions there. We'll be uh, checking in as mu often as we can, and we'll be more than happy to answer them, so please don't hesitate to ask. That's about it. Have a good one, guys.